Hey everyone, it's Dr. Guthels here, and I want to show you our new in-browser game that you can use to test the mods that you're building. So this is Voxel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and double click, and you'll see that I can move my mouse around just like I, you're in Minecraft. You can walk around using the WASD keys, and I bought a little cat um, to from the artifact store, and I just wanted him to follow me around and, and check stuff out with me. So. Uh, yeah, to get out of the simulator, you can just click escape and um, let's do some coding. So the great thing is that all of the same stuff, all of the same block blocks that you used from before are still all here. And to code with them, you just drag them over your Voxel game and you can do exactly what you did on the white screen in the old version of Learn to Mod. So let's go ahead and uh, make a new drone. You'll also notice that if you have some blocks out of place, don't worry, you'll get an error so that you can't um, randomly have something not showing up. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and maybe we'll make a tower. Let's make a short little tower. So let's move our drone forward, just maybe like three blocks. And then let's go ahead and move it up by one and place a um, diamond block. Oops, let's place a diamond block. And diamond blocks are my favorite. Um, oops, not an emerald block, a diamond block. All right, diamond block, there you are. Perfect, so we're going to make a tower that's uh, five blocks high, and then maybe at the top of the tower, this will be fun, at the top of the tower, let's place a creature. Now, creatures inside of Voxel are a little different than creatures inside of Minecraft. Um, why don't we place, I like the cows, let's go ahead and place a cow. All right, so we've got some code here, and uh, to test it out, we just click on this play button right here. All right, and uh, just so you know, be warned, I also purchased some mod effects inside of the artifact store, and so every time I run a mod, some crazy stuff happens. So let's type M to run our mod. Our crazy stuff's going to happen. And uh, wow, there is our tower of diamond blocks. And if we come around it, we can check out the cow. Now, the cow does not really look like a cow, but this is a voxel cow. Kind of creepy. Um, you'll notice that uh, the same commands to fly inside of Minecraft apply here. So you just double click on the spacebar. And uh, yeah, so when you want to get out, again, you just click escape. Pretty easy, right? Um, one other really neat feature of Voxel is that you can click on this debug right here. And what happens is when you run your mod, your code's going to stop and it's going to come out and it's going to highlight what part of the code it's on. And then you can step through the code. So it's going to first go into main. It's going to create a new drone. It's going to move that drone forward. It's going to repeat five times, move up, place a diamond block, and there it is. And it's going to repeat up diamond block. There it is. You can see it being built behind the code and it's going to do that five times. And so if you are running code and it's not doing what you think it should be doing, see, that's five times. So it gets out of the loop, goes up and there we go. Cow. And then it places it and we're done. And if we look in here, there it is again. Pretty awesome. So this is just a way of uh, debugging through your code, trying to figure out what's wrong with your code. A couple other things just for you to kind of see with this new interface is if you want to run your code in Minecraft, you can still do that by clicking on the blue mod button. If you want to see what variables exist in your world, you can do that by clicking on the X equals red button. So we only have one variable, it's D, and that represents our drone. The drone has a location and a direction, and so you can see what its location and direction is. And um, if you're in the middle of running a mod and you need to stop it, you just click the stop. This little button right here is just letting you know whether your code has been saved or not. So when you edit something, it turns red, and once it's saved, it turns green. So you should always make sure to save it before playing, modding, or going back. And finally, the JS is still just the same. So you can see what the JS code um, is after you build your Blockly. So there you go. It's all pretty much the same, except now you get to play around in this super awesome Voxel world. And it's very, very similar to Minecraft. Um, but there are some really neat things, like if you type F, you have a flashlight. And, uh, oh no, kitty, get up. What are you doing? You keep falling. Um, these are tumble cats. Uh, they like to tumble a lot. So maybe if we get out of here 
he'll follow us and uh, untumble himself. So let's make a little staircase and hopefully Kitty will follow. There he comes. All right, so now he's untumbled and we can turn off our flashlight with F again. Perfect. Well, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to post on the Learn to Mod forums. You should definitely check out Voxel and um, make some more mods and test them out in Voxel, test them out in Minecraft, and don't forget to share them. See you guys later.